I am now on our Windows Server 2008 R2 box where we are going to install the Exchange Server 2010. As I have already told you, uh, that we need an active do domain controller in our network to install Exchange Servers. So I have created one domain named exdemo and I have added this computer to that domain. You can see that my full computer name has now changed to ex1.exdemo.com and also there you can see the domain name exdemo.com so now we have a domain and a server ready for the installation but as I have told you earlier about uh, some prerequisites that Exchange needs to start the installation, I have I haven't done anything uh, regarding that yet. But um, let me show how Exchange setup helps you to uh, complete all these requirements by guiding it, us. So let us start the installation from our media and try how it responds. So I am going to open up the dvd drive and run the setup I'm going to run the setup.exe so here it is we have five steps in the installation category and now we have only one completed that is the PowerShell version 2 and which already comes with the operating system uh, which will be installed when the operating system is getting installed if we were using Windows Server 2008 we had to install this and this is the step where we have to install the .NET Framework 3.5 and if we click on this link it will direct us to the Windows website from where we will be able to install the .NET Framework. So this is the website from where we can uh, download and install the .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1. couple of pop-ups from Internet Explorer because it is starting for the first time and the security configuration is also enabled that's why those pop-ups were coming so from here we can download the .NET framework but I am not going to install the .NET framework now uh, I will choose the exchange language options I can install only languages from the DVD and now I can go on and click on the install Microsoft Exchange and here we have an error message saying that uh, we have to install .NET Framework 3.5 and it also gates us to the website from where we can install it so now we can go and install all the prerequisites that exchange installation needs and restart the installation here I have noted down this prerequisite that we need to install in server 2008 R2 to start the exchange installation this may vary if you are using 2008 you might need to install some additional updates and fixes and to install the web server we have to go to the server manager and then click on the roles add roles next you have to select the web server and click next and here we have the role services and the default ones are selected and we have to select some additional things like authentication types I will select basic windows and digest authentication types
and then I can go on to the performance and select the dynamic content compression and then the IS6 compatibility and now I can click on install and the web server will get installed this will take a couple of minutes uh, so I will pause the video and will be right back after the installation completes here we have the installation results this says that the installation was successful and we have completed the installation of web server and its components successfully now we can close this one and now we need to install the next view uh, the next one will be the .NET Framework 3.5 that we haven't installed yet for that we have to go to the features click on add features and then click on the .NET Framework 3.5.1 features to we'll add some additional roles and services allow that and from here itself you can install the next feature the remote administration tools for the active directory you can expand the remote administration tools and again expand the role administration tools and select the ADDS and ADLDS tools click on next 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 and install all these services has been installed successfully and it is asking for a restart so I will pause the video again and restart the computer and will be right back after it's done